Did you know that there are over 200,000 candidates who've applied to take a one-way trip to Mars? Well, on today's show, we meet one woman from Isuk who's made the short list. And Suchetta Singh talks to Carver Tony Hunt about his latest project. And we discover a school who is truly kindling a fire to reignite children's passion for learning. All that and much more on Go Island. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Hello and welcome to Go Island. This is my dream. I feel like I have a live studio audience and a kitchen, a demo kitchen is here. We're here at the Victoria Public Market and I have to admit, I don't, I don't have this often. I really don't. I am nervous. I am nervous today because I am interviewing somebody I admire so much. I'm honored. Oh. I, I, Vikram uh, Vij, I have been following you for so long. I love your food. I love your products. I'm literally, I'm shaking. I'm so nervous. I don't get nervous when I like interview movie stars, but you are my movie star. So we're so honored to have you here today. I'm so honored. Thank you very much, everybody. Thanks so much for coming. Pleasure. You, you know, okay, here's why I am such a fan is not only have you brought the exotic spices and flavors of India to Canada in such a beautiful and uh, tasty way. But you brought that love of what food and gathering around the table with friends and family is all about to our country in a way that has been so, I think, inspiring and, and life-changing to the restaurant scene in Vancouver, to the restaurant scene in Canada, to how we even purchase our foods. It's just been amazing and you've done it with such heart. Let's begin for people who haven't met you. And now that you met him, you will be in love, just like all of us. Um, where your story began, where did you begin your love of, of food? Well, when I was growing up in India, uh, well, first of all, namaste, everybody. Thank you so much. I'm honored. Um, when I was growing up in India, my grandmother used to fuss over food. So as soon as we finished breakfast, she would fuss over what we were going to have for lunch. As soon as we finished lunch, she would fuss over what we were going to have in the afternoon. So this anal retentive attitude of... I get that. Of, of like always fussing over food came from her and from the rest of the family that I was growing up in India. Yeah. But when I came to this beautiful country called Canada, I realized that it was my job to bring the awareness of my country and the culture and the cuisine up. I wanted Canada to understand that Indian food is not just butter chicken and chicken yeah. tikka masala, that there is more to it. Yeah. And there is not a better country in the world than Canada that has embraced me and given me that beautiful welcome of all the people and all everybody that comes out here and enjoys the food. But it's your, it's also the way you, your karma is amazing. I mean, before we started, he was out shaking everyone's hands and talking to everyone. You have such a beautiful spirit. And I think that really comes across in the way you cook and in the way you present food. Because people get very intimidated when they're using spices they've never used right. or they have to do something that seems out of their meat and potatoes kind of grown up way and so you've really done that for you what's been your and especially you know with some of the stuff you've done online like I loved your live cooking uh, demo. demo my gosh I was like tweeting you and I love that so much but you've done so much but in the last couple of years you've really taken it up a notch with your frozen food products with uh, coming to the Victoria public market yes He's here. Um, tell us sort of what your vision is as we head into 2014 and how you want to spread the love. So my vision is that I want every household, every household, the way you eat Italian food one day, the other day you eat uh, Chinese food. I want everybody once a week to enjoy Indian food because all these spices have some form of medicinal value to them. If you look at the cumin, the cloves, the cinnamon, the ginger, you know, there's a whole art of Ayurveda, which is the science of eating healthy with your spices. I want everybody to enjoy that. I want everybody to go to India once in their lifetime and come back here and realize how beautiful, what a great country we live in, which is called Canada. I want everybody to understand that these spices 
are what we are in Canada. We are interwoven. A little bit of this, a little bit of this. We are a democracy at the end of the day. And we are a beautiful democracy. Our food, my food, is an exact example of a democracy on your plate. You can see why I have a crush on him. <laughs> We're going to chat uh, to Vic, uh, uh, we're going to continue to chat with him, and more importantly, he is going to cook for us. But first, uh, we talk about taking a trip to India and experiencing that culture. How would you like to take a one-way trip to Mars? Well, yes, they're actually looking for people all over the world, and one woman has been shortlisted for a trip to Mars. She lives in East Sudan. Khan met up with her, and when you meet her, you'll understand why she might be one of those who goes to Mars. I can't imagine signing up to go to Mars knowing that I may die and I will never return, but what an incredible journey that would be. It's also uh, an incredible opportunity to meet someone as talented and as passionate and as incredible as you. I, uh, I've been such a huge fan. I'm still nervous. Don't You're, be. I am. You know, at the end of the day, this is my question. You go to school to become a chef. Yeah. You go to school to become a doctor. Yeah. And you can be called a doctor. You don't go to school to become a celebrity. Yeah. So you are not a celebrity. At the end of the day, all I am is somebody who's bringing its passion, its love on the plate and sharing with my family called Canada. I've gotten over my fear of trying spices and experimenting because it isn't an exact science. And it is about cooking with... Love. A lot of love. And, and welcoming people. Yes. You know, if you make a nice soup, at the end of the day, who cares what it's called as long as it's made with a lot of love and it's tasty and it's delicious and there's attention to detail. That's all that matters. Whether the soup is called minestrone yeah. or a cream of broccoli, who cares? As yeah. long as it's made with a lot of love. Yeah. And that's all that matters. You could call it a love soup. <laughs> Absolutely. We have to take a very short break, but stay with us when we come back. Vic is going to be cooking up a storm for us right here at the Victoria Public Market. And Suchetta Singh meets one of our world-renowned total Paul artists. It's a very inspiring story, so stay with us. If you cook Indian food at home, welcome back to Go Island. Island. We're at the Victoria Public Market at the Hudson, and behind me, a cooking demo is happening. Not just an ordinary one, no, one of my favorite chefs, uh, Vig, uh, Victor, some people call him Vic, Vikram Vig, is doing a demo, teaching his uh, family recipe of curry chicken, and we're going to show you a few tips in just a moment, but first, Tony Martin, the great grandson of Mungo Martin, who carved those famous totem poles in front of the Royal BC Museum, well, he is right in the middle of carving a totem pole that he hopes will inspire reconciliation and peace. Sujeta Singh with that story. This is how I want your onions to be browned in Indian cooking. That's the key, guys. This is what makes the difference in a curry. It's brown. It looks like most people would throw this away because they think, it's, oh my god, I want the out of this. But you shouldn't. This is where the key is. How much do you love him? Vikram, veg. he says, yeah, burn the onions. That's the best part when you're making a, a, a rich Indian curry. I am so honored uh, to have had the chance to not only interview him, but watch this incredible chef cook right before our eyes here at the Victoria Public Market. Thank you for that beautiful story, Suchetta Singh. Uh, of course, the Metropolitan Church has the big epiphany that's going on throughout the month of January. They have a huge event at the end of the month with world-renowned speakers coming in. Go check it out. It really is an extraordinary opportunity to get your spiritual self all ready for 2014. We have to take a very short break, but stay with us when we come back, we are going to head to a very special school that knows how to ignite its students in a really unique way. Welcome back to Go Island. We're at the Victoria Public Market. It is just buzzing here today. Why? Because Vig, famous for Vig's restaurant, his food line, his now brand new cookbook is here doing a demo on how to make home-cooked 
curry chicken. And of course, you can uh, also come here and have someone else make it for you. Now, um, I see a few people here enjoying some food. What are you eating there, sir? I'm eating the uh, Sutra's poutine. It's uh, Kasimov fries with lamb uh, sauce on it, and it is lamb curry sauce. It is fantastic. I can't recommend it enough. Now, as somebody who's been one of the founders of the Victoria Public Market, what does it mean to you when you look around on a day like today and it's buzzy and Bitch is telling everyone how to make some awesome food? What does it mean to you? I think it's so exciting to see people not only here on a Wednesday filling up the space, but in January, you know, really coming out, looking for that local food experience, supporting these great local businesses. Couldn't be happier about the turnout today, and thank you so much to Vich uh, for coming out and uh, making this such a special day for us. And he'd be so happy to see everyone gathered around the communal table because he's all about eating together, having fun. His cookbook is also available now. And just so you all know, if you don't feel like cooking, come on down to the Victoria Public Market. And uh, it's this simple. Just go, what am I going to have for dinner tonight? Oh, they will have some chicken curry. You put this in hot water, and yes, home-cooked, healthy, delicious chicken curry. I love it. Right here at the Victoria Public Market. Um, we're now going to head to Saanich to Discovery School, which is really much more than a school. It's uh, not only a home away from home for many kids, because it actually is in a house that's been converted into a school, but it's a place for kids with special needs to have an opportunity to ignite their love of learning in a unique way. Paul Ballstein with that story. We have had such a wonderful time here at the Victoria Public Market uh, with Bidge doing a demo on Indian food. And of course, when you come down here, there's always something going on. And Musée is behind me selling all sorts of beautiful uh, canned goods. There's fruits, there's vegetables, cheese, tea, Mexican food. If you haven't been to the public market yet, oh my gosh, it is something you gotta do in 2014. I know that I come here often, so if you see us or any of us uh, from Go Island, say hi and Happy New Year. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Women's clothing provided by Tulip Noir. Casual designer fashions. Men's wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co. Menswear and accessories. Hair services provided by Salon J.